Hi there. Um, for those of you in the know, will know pretty much what these are. Um, I've literally just picked them up off a friend of mine. Um, uh, sort of, sort of gifted, sort of not. Um, he just wanted a little bit of uh, photo stuff for it. So these are 850 watt servo motors, and uh, those are the drives for them. Um, Yashikawa, um, I don't know much about the make to be fair, um, I, I wish I did, <laughs> but if anybody out there can give me a hand that'd be great. Um, so uh, yeah, the big announcement is, is that we've taken on another unit and we're going to uh, attempt to build a 4 meter by 2 meter um, 3 kilowatt laser cutter. Now some of you have guessed that already. Um, fiber laser. Um, we've got a few parts on order already. This is the very, very, very basic start to it all. Um, I'm, uh, I'm having to do it on a shoestring where I can, but uh, it's something I've been wanting to do ever since I did the plasma. Uh, the plasma cuts absolutely brilliant. It cuts brilliantly all the time. I uh, haven't got a problem with it at all, but at the end of the day, it's plasma. So we don't have the uh, I wouldn't say the accuracy, it's more about the the cut quality. Um, and when you get down to the thinner materials, kind of, you know, five, six mil and below, uh, the plasma's okay, um, but detail's a problem. Uh, and we're having to farm out a fair bit of the cutting work, which is super annoying, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, we've tried everything we can to try to get the plasma as accurate as we can. And um, to be fair, uh, you know, uh, I did a bearing service on it this morning. You can see that uh, they're all nice and clean. I replaced the ones that needed cleaning. Uh, and, you know, it, it, my machine works a treat. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Uh, what we have got to do is, uh, is improve, keep moving forward and improve. Um, I just want to... Uh, uh, I want to get this going. I don't know too much about servo drives and the motors. Uh, I know that we've got a uh, the Z axis will have to be braked to stop head creeping down and all that business um, because the holding torque um, is okay. But I want to have a, a brake on it to make sure. Um, we've got Skyfire um, XC3000S uh, pulse uh, system on its way. Again, I don't really know too much about that. I've uh, had a look at the software and the software seems fairly straightforward to use, but settings and things like this, um, I mean, I could always have a reach out to Travis and see if he can give me a hand. Uh, he's done a, a smaller one. Um, I wouldn't call it hobby, you know, he's done a really, really good job of it. And uh, it's his videos that have given me the inspiration to go, do you know what? In for a penny, in for a pound, let's see what we can do. Uh, it's, it's gonna take some time though. So the videos will be as frequently as I can make them. I plan on documenting this completely. So from the ground up, as in this, uh, is the very, very first step. Um, <laughs> no pun intended, because we're going servo, okay? Uh, so what we're looking at now is that we will be building the table. We do have a lot of space um, for just a... No, we don't have a lot of space, let me rephrase that. We have another unit roughly the same size as this one. When you put five meters by two and a half meters of laser bed in there, there's not a whole lot of room left. We can swing a, you know, swing a forklift in around with a four meter sheet on. We'll be able to drop it on without too much trouble at all. We're gonna to have to look at how we lift sheets on and lift them off. Obviously stainless becomes an issue. We can't just go scratching that across the top. That'd be bonkers, right? So um, yeah, we're gonna have to have a little look at that, but it's all gonna be slowly, slowly catchy monkey. We cannot uh, rush it. I wanna do a good job. This one will be painted. Um, <laughs> enough of the rat look. Um, you gotta remember that uh, when I did the plasma, I needed it pretty quick smart and I'd already built a couple of plasmas for um, for customers and I'd already built a plasma for myself a little two meter by one meter so I knew what I had to do it was just a case of 
as quick as possible get this thing moving. So that's what we did. Um, back to the laser though. Fiber laser, the laser source is about a thousand English pounds per kilowatt um, coming from Skyfire. Uh, to get a three kilowatt one, we're looking at 3,200 and something odd pounds. Uh, there's going to be at least 250 pounds carriage, I'd have thought. Uh, it's a lot of money that I haven't got. Um, we're working on how we can um, acquire it um, using other jobs and, you know, um, and looking at what we can draft in from our own resources because, uh, you know, um, although I own this company, uh, you know, some people have offered to chip in a little bit here and there, which is great. It, it all helps and uh, it does make a big difference when it comes to getting you, you know, kind of, you know, 50, 50 quid over the line to order the next bit. So what we're going to do, this is the process. Um, we're going to build the table. Uh, we are going to order in the rails and we're going to have um, high win or H win or whatever they're, they're called. But anyway, it's going to be the square linear rails. Uh, pretty good quality for that because we're going to want the motion to be uh, pretty... Well, it's got to be accurate, hasn't it? So let's face it, it's got to be more accurate than plasma. Uh, we're looking at, you know, 0.1, maybe 0.05 type tolerances. That's what I'm aiming for. Whether it's achievable, I don't know. Uh, so it'll be table, then it will be get on all the rails and get the X and Y um, swinging around over four meters by two meters and see where we go from there. Once we've got that bit done, we will look at all our mounting uh, options. I've just kicked the compressor, sorry. Um, I'm looking at the, we'll be looking at the mounting options for all of these, because all of this is pretty, you know, I mean, there's my fist and, you know, these are big, bad motors. Uh, I didn't realize how big 850 watt motors were. Uh, they're big. Um, we obviously got to learn to set up the drives. Uh, we're going to have to probably spend copious hours on the, uh, on the internet to Skyfire. Um, so far, I have to say they have been brilliant. They have been awesome. Uh, I, I, I cannot fault them so far. So they have answered all my questions within minutes, to be honest. Uh, they have showed me pictures of the goods ready to be shipped. They have showed me pictures of the goods being shipped. They've sent through tracking numbers through FedEx. Um, I'm not plugging FedEx, by the way, but uh, that's how they're sending it. And we are looking at a decent turnaround time I'm expecting it to turn up in the next week or so so then I'll have that control system so we will get to building the table as soon as the unit becomes available next door we've got another month I think before it's actually free and we can look at the floor space and um, start building in there uh, we're going to use some fairly lumpy steel for it because I've got a job coming up that requires lumpy steel and I'll just over order a little bit of lumpy steel and that will you know, it's going to be a pretty hefty table because I want this thing to move quick. I'm looking at a minimum of 80 to 90 um, meters a minute, which is sailing on. I mean, that really is sailing on. Um, I would like to use the three kilowatt uh, laser, you know, pretty much full chat, full, you know, fast as I can. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very difficult to see a return on the on the investment. Um, Time-wise, I'm not too worried about the time. I just want to document it for you guys. Anybody who's interested, please chime in. Please let me know. I, it's, I think this is going to be a massive project. I think it's going to test me, and I'm going to have, I'm going to have to increase the size of my swear box. I'm, I'm certain of that. Um, we're going to go rack and pinion on it. Uh, there's, there's many, many trains of thought. Again, pardon the pun. Um, we're probably going to go helical if we can. I think herringbone's over the top. Um, I think straight cut um, is okay, uh, but I think helical's the way forward if we can have the contact, rolling contact points um, on the helical uh, configuration, which is kind of slanted lines rather than vertical lines, if, uh, for those of you who don't know. Uh, and then we can... Um, then we can, you know, concentrate on the motion being as smooth as humanly possible. We haven't got the ability or the funds to machine face anything for the rack, to machine face for the 
uh, for the linear um, rails and bearings, uh, we are going to just try and get it as accurate as we can. I've got a very small milling machine, I think I've probably showed you before in previous videos. Um, we might be able to mill off the odd little face here and there, um, but we're just going to see, see how we go. A great thing about the, uh, this um, XC3000S, uh, the control system, is that it's got capacitive um, height sensing, which I think most lasers do. Uh, I'm not sure, I think you can certainly enable it. But when you're looking at four meters by two meters, we are going to definitely need some height sensing. So it's, it's another expense, but it's, but it's important to have it. So table built, rails on, axes moving. Uh, then we've got to look at motor mounts. Um, we'll, we'll make a cabinet for all the electronics and the drivers and what have you. Um, probably a, um, a two compartment electronics cabinet and we'll just keep the higher voltage away from the slightly lower voltage. Uh, the other thing we're going to have to look at once we get that far, once we can start mounting stuff inside this cabinet, is we've got to look at how we're going to drive the pinions on the rack um, using these motors. Uh, as you can see, the motors themselves have got um, uh, you know belt pulleys on. I think that's the way we're going to go. I had a little look at some uh, planetary gearboxes. Um, and then when I woke up uh, after passing out, uh, they were a thousand pound each. I cannot afford three thousand pound in planetary gearboxes. That's just crazy. There are cheaper ones out there. Um, my only concern is backlash. So I think what we do is we'll build our own belt drive system for it. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a massive challenge. It's it's a pity because we could do with the laser accuracy to make some of the components, but we're not going to have it. We're going to rely on my plasma and a lathe and our little milling machine and our little press break, and we're going to see what we can do. Uh, I think time, patience, and I guess money um, is going to uh, is going to win us through. Uh, I would. I'm rather hoping to get something fired up by by Christmas. It'd be a nice little Christmas present to me and probably Christmas present to you. I think that's a slightly ambitious target, but we won't know until we get that far. Um, there's a guy who's going to be helping me called Liam. Um, he's going to be part of the business, part of the laser cutting business. Uh, we've got some sheet steel suppliers, West Country uh, Steel Sheets. Uh, they've been awesome. Uh, you know, they, they get us a load of sheet on consignment with a bit of luck so we can just pay for it as we use it. So we'll have the stock here. Um, and then as we use the sheets, we'll take it off and then they, they charge us accordingly. So um, that's, that's real good of them. Appreciate that. Uh, it's just the components. I mean, you know, we need a chiller. Um, that's going to be probably 450, 500 pounds. Laser source is going to be, I thought, probably closer to 4,000 pounds by the time we got all the bits. Um, we got a laser head to get. We'll get a 3.3 kilowatt laser head. I don't, I don't see us needing more than three kilowatt for now, but I will probably eat my words within days um, once we fire it up and we get it working and running properly, but there we go, we shall see. So um, yeah, laser source expensive, laser head quite expensive. Um, the gases, um, this is another problem. Uh, sorry, this is turning into a long sort of rambling uh, video, so I do apologize, but I'm trying to get across what I'm trying to achieve. So. Uh, so bear with me if you want to. Um, gases, we can use nitrogen, we can use oxygen, and we can use air. Now I thought, great, I've got a chuffing great compressor. No, I haven't. <laughs> this compressor's no good uh, for laser air supply. My compressor goes up to 8.5 bar maximum. I need a consistent 11 bar, so I need a 12 bar compressor. So 20 grand later, I've got myself a 12 bar compressor, so that's not going to happen. I think what we'll do is that we will start off with bottled gases um, to start with, individual, um, uh, what people in the BOC world would call W size, which is the size that's on the welder there, that's a W size bottle. Um, I've been waiting for the gas supplier to come back to me uh, with regards to uh, you know, manifolds and, and, you know, larger palletized, you know, nine bottle, I forgot the bottle banks. 
So yeah, so so it, a lot of it will be oxygen cut because a lot of it will be mild steel, uh, and you know we'll have nitrogen on a um, job by job basis for the stainless steel. I must admit, I'm really looking forward to getting it running and firing up the laser for the first time. I think it's going to be it's going to be the highlight of my year. Uh, bearing in mind that I've, uh, as I've already alluded to, I've had a a bit of a rubbish year um, with one thing and another. Um, we have got few issues still ongoing but you know we're hopefully we're coming out the other side so uh yeah that's the next thing so it's getting in all the components so we get the table built it's going to take us probably two weeks to build the table because we're gonna to have to do it in our spare time we cannot afford downtime on the business because that is just going to that'll cripple the business um in favor of uh something else that may not make us money until early next year and may not even get profitable until towards the end of next year so We've got to be very, very careful um, with, with, with how we spend our time and our resources. Um, however, you know, um, if we find a day where we're slack, I know exactly what I'll be doing. I'll be in the other unit, and as soon as that unit becomes free, I'll show you around it. Uh, we're, um, we've already marked out where we can, because at the moment there's cars in there, so it's a little bit of a challenge. But we've marked out where we can with um, yellow floor paint as, as to where everything's going to go. Um, we're going to have to build a mezzanine in there. We need to get some racking in there. Um, all these things cost time and money. Um, as you've gathered, I'm going on about money a lot. Uh, it, it, it's it's just fact. It's it, it, these things cost money. Um, you know, uh, people like Jeremy Fielding um, on uh, YouTube. He's an absolute awesome engineer. Uh, I watch his. To be honest, I watch his videos probably more times per video than, than any other person that I follow on, on YouTube. Um, I, I can watch the same video that he presents uh, several times in a row. Um, and it's not that I don't understand what he's talking about because he's incredibly clear and he's a, he's a fantastic educator. Um, it's because I don't always soak up the knowledge. Uh, you know, I'm not the smartest chap that you've ever met. Um, I try very, very hard and everybody loves a tryer, right? Um, but yeah, he's he's a bright guy, um, and he is like I say, he's just a fantastic educator. He just he's very very good. So yeah, I mean that's that's where we're at, and then we'll start bolting all these things together and and, and see what we do. I'm going to change the way in which um, the rails, you know, we mounted the rails on the plasma as you can see. We mounted them on the top. That is just not going to be an option um, for the laser. Uh, however, I say that. We might mount them on the top, but we might mount them much lower down so that we'd have a, a, a higher beam arm. I haven't quite decided yet. It's, it's that's still, still in the offing. Um, we are designing it as we go. We may bolt the rails to the side. Um, we're certainly not going to bolt them underneath. I don't think bolting underneath is, is an option. I would like it because obviously it's out the way and it's all out the way of the dust and whatever. We could go down the bellows route, so we could put them on top, have it below the table height, um, the cutting um, the cutting height. Uh, we could have it below there, and we could put bellows on, which somebody suggested um, after my last video, which, um, you know, I love these suggestions. Bellows would be a great idea. Um, they are relatively inexpensive, and it's something that I ought to do. Um, but you know me. Um, there's lots of things I ought to have done um, with the plasma. Um, this one, we're going to try to do it um, all the way through, and document it properly so there we are um, that's it that's the news uh, I don't know how long this is going to take the videos are not going to be every week they may be every week but um, I think once we get going we'll be making more and more videos I'm going to try to uh, throw in a few shorts as well um, because one thing I I'm quite big on is documenting my mistakes so, uh, you know, the shorts will be a, oh, geez, look what I've done here. That is an absolute, you know, cock up. Um, so, yeah, I, I kind of like documenting mistakes. I sort of like making mistakes as long as they're unintentional. I wouldn't intentionally make a mistake. Uh, you know, we made several mistakes on the plasma and it's, it's it, you know, it's the... Um, it's the way forward. It's the way you do it. You know, that's, that's what experience is. I've always said that experience is a catalog of, um, of errors. And that's exactly what it is. You don't gain the experience of how to get around something or how to build something or, how, you know, without um, making a few, uh, a few boobies along the way. You know, with uh, looking back on the plasma now, looking how we, how we built this, 
uh, we slung it together. I gotta be honest with you, and I said to last time in the last video, we just thought that'll work, let's do that. And then we found it did, then we found it didn't, and all kinds of craziness ensued. But, you know, I documented it, all of it. You've seen this thing grow, improve. Uh, a good friend of mine says it is quite possibly one of the best built plasmas he's ever seen, uh, which is a nice pat on the back. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm never so sure. Every time it cuts something a little bit squirrely, I get angry with it. And I shouldn't because I built it. I should be angry with myself. <laughs> but even looking at the cut side of here now, I mean, you know, the, the quality of that edge cut. And obviously this isn't touch look. There's no dross underneath. Um, this thing cuts so well. It's... Like I say, the building of the um, of the fibre laser is through a necessity of needing the smaller sheet stuff cut. You know, I mean, I'm looking at um, some stainless here um, that we're doing for a customer. We've got those holes there. You could never plasma cut that. You know, that's laser cut. Um, the, all the sheets were laser cut and folded by another company. Um, it annoys me, not that. I mind paying somebody to do the job for me. I like to be able to have the ability to do it myself. Anyway, I've already said that part. So there we go, that's it. So we have these. We have a control system on its way. Uh, by the end of next week, we will have a head on its way. So a 3.3 kilowatt ray tools head will be on its way. Um, I wanna make sure I order the right stuff. So we're doing a lot of conversations. We're having a lot of conversations with Skyfire. Um, I will put a link to Skyfire underneath. Um, I am not sponsored by them in any way at the moment. Um, and it's the same with everything, uh, every other, you know, um, business or whatever as I mentioned. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about it, to be quite honest. Um, I think it would be nice if somebody said, here you go, Rob, here's a load of kit, document it, blah, blah, blah. Then you've got to promote it. Then you da, 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 da. Well, I'm happy to do that, but I'm not a, you know, I'm not a super regular uh, YouTuber, I do, I do not make any money out of this at all, not a single dime. Um, I, I've had a few gifts uh, which are greatly appreciated. I've had some additive for the water, thank you very much. I've had the, um, you know, the myomic, um, thank you very much, Lucas, appreciate it. Uh, but that's it, I haven't had anything else. I've got some good friends that uh, build and maintain and look after machines, um, which is where I got this from. And there we are. So I would just go through it once more. Um, we have got the unit. We are waiting for it to clear. We will build the table. We will document that and we will paint it. Um, we are then going to put the rails and the rack on it. And we'll make sure that, that moves nice and freely. We're going to put a lot of effort into making sure everything's parallel, everything's square. Then we're going to then look at mounting the motors. We've got the motors. Um, the the Z-axis, because there's two Ys here and one X, uh, the Z-axis is going to be a smaller 400 watt uh, motor and Yashikawa um, drive unit. Uh, and then we will, I'm not going to build a Z-slide for that. We're going to buy one, um, probably from Skyfire, but just while we're there, bung it in the box, if you like, when they send across the other stuff. And so, yeah, so that'll be a table, so that'll be mounting the motors. Um, we'll make sure that we can drive the motors because we'll have the control boards. Um, we'll make sure we've got all the power that we need. We'll make sure we've got a computer that we need um, to, to drive it also. That's as far as we can get with the budget we have at the moment. So that is gonna be it. We'll be able to move it. We'll be able to ride on it probably. Um, and, have, un, you know, oodles of fun making it. Uh, but that's as far as it's going to get. We will be able to mount the head, I guess, because that will be here. Um, but the rest is I've got to put in some serious hard work and um, try to make enough money where I can afford to um, throw 4,000 quid at this laser source and the chiller. Um, and I think there's, uh, I might be wrong, uh, I think there's something to do with a voltage regulator. Apparently it's a, quite an important piece of kit. Um, if... If Skyfire say, yes, you must have it, then I will have it. Um, but it, it's yet another expense. Uh, but there we go. It is what it is. Um, and then, of course, um, I've got, I'll be able to easily get my hands on the gases. 
uh, and then it's just a case of um, cut and go. So there we are. Um, that brings this uh, rather long video to a close. Sorry it's taken so long and it has been a bit of a ramble, but I wanted to fill you in on everything that I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. Uh, once again, please like and subscribe. Every single like, every single subscribe means a lot because I do this. I don't do it for, for coin. I, I, I do this because I want to share my experiences and my knowledge um, with anybody and everybody who wants to you know, embark on a similar journey. Um, and hopefully, hopefully I'm interesting enough. Um, <laughs> if I'm not, I'm pretty sure somebody will let me know about it. So as I say, please like and subscribe, hit the bell, um, then you'll be notified of as, as and when I post up new videos. But do stand by, this is going to be a journey. All right, so look after yourselves, look after each other. God bless, and I will see you next time. Cheers.